hello, YouTube. Uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, my name is Kevin, and I am with a Weird, uh, the Weird Home Store, and we do uh, Weird Homes uh, tours of you know, eclectic and creative homes all around the U.S. Uh, we do this every week. So uh, if you want to see more homes like uh, the one that you're seeing today, uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe, like, uh, click on the little bell for notifications, all those things that uh, we'll do on YouTube. And if you like what you see, if you have a home you want us to, to check out, you know, hit us up in the comments, let us know. And yeah, and uh, this week we are being, uh, we are being um, graced with uh, Caroline with uh, Tree Houses of Serenity. And she is braving some uh, really inclement weather today to show us uh, a really fun thing. You know, as a kid, I, I always liked uh, a tree house. I think every kid has this like, you know, you know, perfect tree house that they imagine in their mind. Well, uh, Caroline and her company actually made uh, several tree houses that are pretty cool. So we're going to check them out. And uh, Caroline, thank you so much for, for being with us. Hey, Kevin. Thanks so much. We really appreciate it. And you know, I was really hoping to have some great weather and great sunset for you guys tonight, but unfortunately we are getting the ends of Hurricane Sally. And as you, let me turn this around here. As you can see, we are socked in with the fog. So <laughs> not, not a whole lot of sunset that you're gonna see tonight, but we'll, we'll go forth anyway. <laughs> Well, yeah, well, there's, uh, you know, there's something a little bit kind of, uh, kind of uh, otherworldly and magical of this, like, tree house in the middle of the thick fog, I think. So it's kind of very, like. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, the weather changes here on the mountain so quickly that, you know, five minutes it'll be like this. And then, you know, the next five minutes the sun will be out. But um, for, for right now, we're, we're socked in pretty good. But. Um, I'm going to get inside in just just a bit, but starting out here, I wanted to to show everyone. So a, a couple of things. Um, the first is let me come around here to the front, and you may or may not be able to see, but this treehouse is completely in the trees. There's uh, no post supporting this structure at all. Uh, you know, obviously, other than the steps coming down. And, you know, really the, the biggest question or the most frequent question that we get is, you know, what if, you know, lightning hits the tree? What if the tree dies? Blah, blah, blah. And, you know, any of those things can happen. And so, you know, we had these trees, uh, you know, picked out with an arborist that they were good and healthy trees. But, you know, in the event that, you know, Mother Nature calls and which we all know that she does, then, you know, we can come back in and and put post underneath the treehouse in order to support it if something happened to the trees. Um, but you know, right now this treehouse was built in in 2016, and you know, totally in the trees, and there is you know no damage or anything like that. Um, you know, we we don't anticipate you know having to put post up underneath them you know anytime in you know in the near future. Um, so I, I did want to, uh, you know, to point out that this, that this tree house is really, truly a tree house. And, and that's just amazing, Caroline. And I guess, you know, my first question, uh, and to those of you who are live, uh, feel free to hit us up with any kind of questions and we'll get to it. But, you know, I, I just kind of like to know what the process was with like building a house in a tree. You know, is it, is it, the same as building home like a regular home are there any like kind of special um any special things that you had to do you know kind of walk us through that process a little bit well so both yes and no so when you're building a treehouse completely in the trees the biggest hurdle that you have to deal with is the is you know the foundation or the platform that the treehouse itself is on and so we had to have structural engineers um, come in and certify all of the uh, supporting metal that's underneath it. And, um, you know, 
folks out there might know the name of Michael Garnier. He um, is the fella out of Oregon that actually has the patent on the Garnier limb that supports tree houses in the trees. So he came to Asheville and actually built our a platform that the treehouse is on. So we, you know, it was built by the experts. And, um, you know, here in North Carolina, everything was um, certified and stamped from engineers as well as the county. So we have a certificate of occupancy, just like, you know, any normal home would um, from the county. So when you, you build your platform and the engineers made the platform so that it actually would hold a house twice this big um, just, you know, to make sure that they were covered and, and everything. And then once you get past the platform itself, you're really under residential building code um, or, you know, where we were here in North Carolina, as far as, you know, what, how wide the steps had to be, you know, any, anything else that goes into your normal, you know, building of a home walk up the steps here so we we have these um you know lights come on every night which i think is so cool when we have people you know coming into the house and all the all of the lights are always on at night and uh coming up here i want to show actually one thing before i get to the get to the top so um we have bark siding here that came from some good friends of ours over in canton north carolina they're called bark lad and they do this great uh, faux bark that is called smart bark and um, it's uh, a composite that looks exactly like uh, you know poplar bark that's been you know pulled off of the tree but it's actually not um, but we've got their product on several of our homes and we just love having you know having it because it's got this great look to it and great treehouse look but coming up onto the porch I'll go up this tree. We've got a little alcove cut out here. And sorry, you're getting the light shined in your eyes there. But these, all of these trees light up at night. So it's, it's pretty cool. And so when I take you inside, um, if I don't remember, re remind me to tell you about, um, you know, what happened during the build um, with, with this tree. And I can show you from the inside. So coming in, come into the living room, and um, because we normally have great views, we have you know windows, big big windows everywhere that uh, look out onto the mountains. We've got you know, a, a couch that folds out for all of our guests, and you know rocking chairs. Coming up here, we've got a big sycamore bar um, that, again, looks out um, over the mountains. And our little owls that are there that keep watch over everyone. Then coming, we've got another porch out here. Again, you can see how socked in that we are. So there's actually three decks um, on this tree house. This is the back deck. And then this is the second tree that is acting as, uh, you know, the, the support and foundation um, that's holding this tree house up. And then this is a cute little area. Um, I call it my wine bar where the, um, the, kitchen windows open up and then you can you know pass food and drink out um out to this little barn uh, bar area and then you know normally you have a great view and we have the wildlife that you know walks up and down the road and we have guests all the time that tell us that you know we saw the deer walking around we saw the bear walking around we've got a bobcat that likes to show up every once in a while so it's always fun to see what's going to be showing up showing up out here so kind of, i can just see myself you know sitting out there with a, a warm cup of coffee and just uh, and just looking at it all exactly exactly so yeah. this is the, the kitchen area here um we do have um you know uh, a refrigerator microwave you know coffee pots hot plates we didn't put um a stove and um, oven in our tree houses. We're, we use these 
homes for uh, short-term rentals. So, you know, you know, you're in Asheville, you've got great food. So many people go, you know, out to eat anyway and just bring takeout in. So um, our, our kitchens are, are really more along the lines of, of kitchenettes um, without that, you know, main cooking element. But like I said, we do have um, hot plates and, you know, different things like that, just to, you know, whip up a, you know, breakfast or something along those lines. Coming on around, then this is the uh, the steps going up to the bedroom. All of the inside is um, is wood. It's it's actually pine. Um, the the ceilings are pine. The walls are pine, uh, and then the floors um, in this home um, are red oak and uh, red oak throughout uh, the downstairs um, area. You know, after the all the wood. Uh, I had a question. Is it all like locally sourced wood? Um, you know, wh where did you get it all? M much of it is. Um, you know, the the sycamore here um, we got uh, locally here in Asheville. Um, as not only the bark on the outside, but also the um, rough sawn lumber that is on the outside came from a, a local sawmill here in town, um, as, as well as, as the floor. So yeah, everything is, is really locally sourced um, as much as possible. We have uh, the cabinets made um, out of Hickory, North Carolina. So, so yes. Amazing, amazing. Well, let's, let's see the rest of the house. All right, so coming on around, you know, I, I said earlier that one of the biggest questions is what happens when the tree dies. The second biggest question is, is there a bathroom? Uh, so yes, there, there is a bathroom. It's, you know, regular conventional toilet, just like you have it at your house. <laughs> uh, we've got sinks um, and then uh, a tile. Um, it's a, it's a barnwood tile shower, um, but the, the tile is, is really well done. It, it really looks like barnwood, but it's actually a tile. Um, so yes, the, that's, like I said, that's the, Number one and number two, do you have a bathroom? And then what happens if, if the tree dies? So I think that we've addressed both of both of those. Um, coming out of the out of the bathroom, you go up the steps and into the bedroom. Here is the third of the decks. This one is actually covered, so you're not uh, you can actually sit out here with your coffee and not get wet um, when it's raining. But again, gorgeous views on the non-hurricane days. But coming inside, so I told you before when we were outside about the tree and um, the situation that we ran into. So uh, standing on the ground looking up at this tree when we were building, it looked straight as an arrow going you know straight up to the sky and when this home was designed um of course straight walls were intended but when we got to this second level the tree um was was not straight it was it was you know grew crooked so this this cutout here on this wall this one was really not supposed to be there. This was supposed to have been a straight wall um, and then, you know, obviously a, a bed there, but we had to pull the wall in and make the wall actually lean in order to have the alcove downstairs for the tree to grow and move and that type of thing, which really at the end of the day made it that much better because, you know, you're in a tree house. You don't necessarily need straight walls and you know all of these conventional things that you're used to in, in in a house that's not you know as a tree house is a different animal in my opinion so it really worked out um well um you know how it was a kind of a little kink in the wheel at the time but it it worked out um you know better than really really we could have anticipated so that ended up so we made this platform for this bed and then the steps, so you climb the steps, it's just three steps there, um, you know, to get in, to get into your bed. Um, you've got some reading lights there, and then you've got these pretty cool triangular windows here that are looking out, um, you know, across the landscape, and you get that second tree 
um, that's part of your of your foundation um, out this window. And then you can just see how tall these sea lines really are. I'm, I'm not sure, probably, I don't know, 10, 13 feet um, to the top of that one. Yeah, and then you also it's amazing. Yeah, I can see myself, uh, you know, spending some some cozy uh, winters and some uh, you know really wonderful summers up there. Uh, you had mentioned you know needing to make kind of adjustments on the fly with the, way the, the trees grow. Um, you know, were there any other kind of surprises uh, in building the treehouse? You know what. What advice would you give someone, you know, if they wanted to build, you know, a very elaborate tree house like you guys did? Yeah, I think the, the biggest thing is, you know, to really do a lot of pre-planning, you know, talk to your county and your city as to what they're, you know, going to allow or what, um, you know, what they're going to require that you may not be thinking about. Because there was, you know, there was a lot of that. And when, when we built back in 2016, uh, we were one of the first in in the county um, to be you know, building completely in the trees. Since then, uh, there others have been built, and you know it's it's becoming. I don't want to say normal because it's not normal, but there's you know more than just us. But do do your research, talk to your city and county you know, building inspectors, and you know do your homework up front because the last thing that you want to happen is you get to where you think that you're you know going to either start and or finish your project and then you'd be uh, waylaid by you know different things that you know needed to be done that you may not have known about. Oh, oh yeah, amazing. And, um, and so I, you know, I have one final question. Okay. Yeah. My mind, and I, I don't know if you get this a lot, but uh, what about termites? Do you guys uh, do you guys ever have issues with termites? No, no, uh, we, we don't, or it, and or haven't thus far. Anyway, I mean, you know, <laughs> we have you know our, our our local Terminex that comes and checks us uh, very frequently, but no, we've we've never had uh, even the the first little indication that we you know would have any. Amazing, and uh, and so you you had mentioned uh, that you know this is a, is a home, but people can actually stay uh, in this treehouse. Uh, how mm -hmm. can people find out more about it, book it, and all that fun stuff? So um, our website is treehousesofserenity.com. We all and we went rent through Airbnb, but if you go to our website, um, as Kevin mentioned earlier, we have. Um, several homes for rent. Um, uh, uh, the Hobbit Knoll that we actually featured on uh, the Weird Homes Tour last month is on our website um, as well as the Perch. And then we're going to have three new homes coming online. Um, hopefully in the next six weeks, um, we've got a farmhouse. Um, another house is called the Airy and it looks like a bird's nest. And then we have a very special Wizard's Hollow um, that's a castle. So we're really excited about that one. But yeah, check us out at treehousesofserenity.com. Um, Amazing. And, and uh, will any of those new houses be tree houses or are you all kind of like done with the tree house building? They are all elevated homes. They are not in the trees as this one is, but they are on post. So they are all elevated um, up in the trees. Amazing. So uh, check them out. Go to their website, book it. Uh, I can just see myself, you know, spending the evening in a, like a, a fog thick, uh, you know, night like tonight, uh, really magical. Thank you so much, Caroline, for being with us. And, uh, and thank you uh, everyone for joining us uh, in this video. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, be sure to subscribe to the Weird Homes YouTube channel, uh, click the little bell for notifications and uh, drop us a like and a comment and all that fun stuff. Let us know uh, if you like the video, if there's any particular homes that you wanna see us do in the future. And uh, thank you again for joining us, Carolyn. Thank you so much for showing us your amazing uh, homes and we hope to show off more whenever they're built. That sounds great. Thank you, Kevin. All right, thank you everyone. Bye. Bye-bye, have a good night.